Hello everybody out there, this is Roger Sherman from Ecocentro Solar giving you another update on different aspects of grid-side solar in Mexico and today we're talking about CFE bi-directional meters because this is a subject that confuses people so um, take a look and if you have any questions please contact me and let me know what those questions are so, to kick off straight away, um, CFE, as you may or may not know, uses two different models of meters. One of the things that confuses people is that their existing meter might have a little check mark where it says bi-directional. So they think they don't need to change their meter to go grid side, and that is actually false. Um, these meters that say bi-directional, they just mean they're bi-directional ready and CFE need to program them to work as a bi-directional or grid tied meter. And remember at Ecocentro we do all the paperwork process with CFE on your behalf so you don't have to worry about it and make lines down at those uh, offices which can be tedious. So right now CFE have two different models. The one on the uh, left here is the user model and the one on the right is the, the grid, uh, grid stream model. Um, basically they both give the same information but um, slightly different displays. So I'm going to take you first to the uh, user model and this meter has no external buttons or controls. Basically what you will see is that the um, display is scrolling between two readings and I've highlighted in this little circle here um, in green um, on the right hand side and in a smaller size font than the actual reading of your um, consumption it'll say 1.8.0 now that is the amount of kilowatt hours that you have used from the grid or from CFE no matter how much solar you have you're always going to use from the grid um, because obviously there are times when the solar isn't producing energy. So for example at night time or during a heavy rainstorm. The second reading is shown as 2.8.0 and that just means reading 2. And reading 2 is the reading of the excess power that you have made with your panels that has not been self-consumed in the home and has been sent back to the grid. This is known officially as export. And your bill is based on the difference between these two readings. So on your billing cycle, instead of getting one pair of readings of before and after, you will get two pairs. And it is the uh, difference between those two that you will actually be billed on. If you have a grid stream meter, um, it's a little bit easier because 001 appears on the left. And that is reading one. That's what you've used, used from the grid. And the export 002 um, is shown as 002. So it's a little bit easier to read, but it's basically the same. Now, as you also know, CFE have a new format um, for their bill. Not very nice looking. Uh, we preferred the older format. But on this, there's quite a lot of useful information that you, other than how much you're paying. And I'm going to take you through that right now. So the first thing, this little blue star showing tarifa or tariff, this is the tariff that has been applied. And the tariff that is applied to you is dependent on your annualized average use or consumption. So in my case, I'm luckily in the 1B tariff, which is the, um, the tariff that every new contract starts in and will remain in provided you don't go above the average for your region that takes you into the high consumption tariff known as DAC, D-A-C, Domestico Alto Consumo. Lots of myths about this tariff. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, the second bit of information is that you're now going to get these two pairs of readings like I mentioned earlier on in this video. So the one with the green line, that's my reading one. So in this case, um, the two readings are <coughs> 38131, 
less 37590. So that was a net of 541 kilowatt hours for the period. And underneath that, the export. So in my case, in this particular billing cycle, um, I actually exported 929 kilowatt hours, which was more than my total consumption. So in this period, we used, um, basically we, we banked back to the grid or into our energy bank, um, a credit of 388 kilowatt hours. Um, however, you will notice that they charge me 50 kilowatt hours. Why? Well, it's a minimum charge. It's a bit like the line rental on your telephone. There is a, a, a rental whether you use the phone or not, and in CFE, they charge you 50 kilowatt hours. So depending on the tariff that you are in, um, it will determine the size of your bill. In this particular case, um, it was a very low amount, as you saw, about 48 pesos. Right, moving right along, the third section um, tells you how the bill is calculated. And there's all sorts of complicated uh, mumbo jumbo here about um, uh, distribution, transmission, and synasse, and all this stuff. It really isn't very useful. However, on the right hand side, we do have that we have this fixed charge of 39 uh, pesos 65 cents. We have 16% VAT. Um, so that adds up to 46 pesos, and then I, there's another tax, DAP, that's the um, Derecho Alumbrado Público, which basically means uh, your contribution towards uh, public lighting, and um, so my bill was basically 48.65, and it shows how much of, the, of your bill was subsidized if you're in a tariff that carries a subsidy, in other words, if you're in the one tariff and not in the DAC tariff. Um, on the back side of the bill, we also have some very useful information, which is our historic consumption. So you can see here, in my case, um, we've had several uh, bimesters where there's no consumption whatsoever, and um, we've had one bimester where there was higher consumption. Um, that's when I have my visitor's day. Um, and uh, obviously what we're looking for here is uh, to keep the annualized average nice and low. Now, unfortunately, with this new format, CFE sort of forgot to leave a space sharing your energy bank. Um, and that's why we recommend that you keep your own records. If you have, uh, if you can take pictures of your meter with a smartphone that date and time stamps it, they will take that as evidence. Um, have to say, they're making way less errors than they used to, but it does happen occasionally. So keep your own records, take pictures of your meter as close as possible to your billing dates. Um, now, at the time of making this video, CFE were showing on their uh, online uh, website where you log in and, and into your build, you could see that details. Unfortunately, that now has disappeared as well, but it used to appear here that um, we'd had accumulated so many kilowatt hours and we have so much in our energy bank. Unfortunately, that has also disappeared. Um, but as I said, in your own records, you can keep it. And obviously, if you have monitoring of your solar production and your electrical consumption, so much the better because you can check against your CFE bill and see if they're billing you the right amount. And then just as a little reminder, um, obviously your panels will produce at their maximum efficiency provided they're not covered in dust or back droppings or leaves, etc. So keeping them clean is a good idea. Um, some of you will be either in a situation where your roof is almost inaccessible to you or you can't be bothered, in which case we are more than happy to uh, do this service for you and uh, really for a very reasonable charge, we will come, we will do a professional cleaning of your panels and uh, we recommend that depending on whether you're right up on the beach, uh, on, the, on, the, on the waterfront or further back, we do this either every six months or every 12 months. And again, you can contact us uh, and we will talk you through how that works. We hope this little video has been useful and um, we wish you sunny, sunny days to enjoy and to continue to enjoy uh, your 
free solar power from the sun. Enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs>